Time to play with some clay. I want to show you a bunch of tool, a bunch of tools that I got from uh, Etsy online, and uh, they're plastic, and they're going to need a little cleaning up because there's some seams on them. It's not quite perfect, but uh, you can take an exacto knife and and pretty well clean it up if you want. But it's got different shapes, and uh, I like this one, and I like this little tool here but there's a big seam right there that I gotta smooth out and let's see got some really nice uh, round tools there um, can't see the one I really like maybe I dropped it anyway oh here it is and it's got a little cup on the end of it and it's kind of a neat little tool I think I'm gonna be able to use that very well um, and then I also got these, uh, ball tools. I, I just started using ball tools, tools a couple of years ago. And, uh, I really would be lost without them now. It's that they really do, um, help in your sculpting. But anyway, I've got these, these are all from Etsy as well. I got these today in the mail. This is what I mean about smoothing out the uh, seam on these, but I don't know if I can recommend these uh, plastic tools because you can see this pops right out. So you'd have to glue them in. That may not be a big problem if you've got glue, but it uh, seems a little... a little in unconcerned about the client when you send tools that come apart. And that aren't quite smoothed out the way they should be. I think they would take a little more care in that. So I can't recommend these tools. I got them, so I might as well do the best I can with them. Anyway, I'll be right back. I'm gonna. I got myself sidetracked here. <laughs> it's not hard to get me sidetracked. Oh, by the way, uh, just an update on my uh, foundry. I, I was busy yesterday dealing with two foundries, trying to find one that would take me, one that would be close enough to uh, work with, and I finally got a response from the foundry that's about an hour and a half from here. And uh, the gallery that, I mean, the foundry that was uh, seven hours from here would definitely do my stuff, but. Uh, that's seven hours away. So I'm just uh, so glad that I got a response from the uh, foundry in uh, Livingston, Montana. Uh, looking for my glue. All right, I'll be back. I have, what am I messing with this for? I want to get started on my armature. I got this wire, this aluminum wire, off of uh, Amazon, and it's very good for uh, strength and uh, for armature making. So I'm going to utilize this. It wasn't very expensive either. Um, I had gotten this uh, type of wire. It's also very good. It's a bonsai tree wire. And I got this from Amazon too, and it was comes in a 50 foot uh, roll, I think, or loop, and it's very good too. It's aluminum wire as well. So anyway, that's what I'm working with. I just realized something. This uh, anatomy drawing that I've got that I'm working on with the uh, Longhorn steer is too big. I've got a photograph of a woman holding a longhorn steer skull in front of her. And the skull doesn't, I've just put this figure of a 
the that I had on the horse and instead of going down to the belly button uh, the skull it goes all the way down to the groin from the uh, from the collarbone and that indicates to me that it's just a little bit big I thought it looked big and now I know it is big so I'm gonna have to go up and rescale it and uh, that's gonna probably take the rest of the afternoon um, I might rec I might well, I actually I cover that in my instructional videos. I'm just going to have to let this go. If you're interested in, in learning some stuff that you can't get with watching these videos, um, you certainly can go down in the in description area below this video, and I have a link to a review, review of the nine videos that I have available. And, uh, and I... I, I I'm sorry I can't show you everything I'm doing because uh, I just, it, it would be a slap in the face of people that pay for it. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow when I've got a little more time to work on this. Today I was uh, busy most of the day uh, going back and forth with the uh, foundry in uh, Livingston. And so, just waiting for a final email from them that before I make a trip over there with the uh, mold of the uh, sculpture that I might have sold. All right. Good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. All right. It's uh, day two, and uh, I glued all these uh, white tips, plastic tips, into their handles. I don't know why they don't do that at the uh, place that uh, makes them but they don't, so uh, I did. And I've got a special container to put these. I, I try to keep all my ball tools and stuff like that in separate containers. And there's a food product that you buy at the store that uh, you can cook inside these little plastic pans, but I don't. I cook them in a pan, and uh, they're perfect for holding uh, tools and I can literally take my everyday sculpting tools and stack it right on top of that and then I got another set of tools I can put in here like maybe uh, some ball tip tools or something like that. It's just keeping my studio organized. I've rescaled the uh, arm uh, the uh, I've rescaled the uh, drawing of a uh, the anatomy of a cow, which is the only thing I can find that is even close to a steer, and uh, it it didn't make a lot of difference, but it made just a little bit of a difference. Oops, my camera, and you can see it, it's about maybe a quarter of an inch. To a half inch uh, difference in length and uh, that uh, it doesn't really make that much difference I probably could have gotten by with using this one yesterday but I didn't all right I'm going to go ahead and uh, make my armature and uh, I'm using aluminum wire as I told you yesterday and I'll be back when I get that all done and then I've got to uh, design uh, the the story, so to speak, of uh, what uh, is going on between the cowboy on horseback and the uh, longhorn steer. And uh, it, it takes a bit bit of engineering to uh, do that. Uh, you have to kind of be an engineer as well as a sculptor, because everything's got to balance out and it's got to be interesting to the eye. Uh, you can't just slap clay together and hope that people will buy it. You have to make it so that people are, it appeals to people's eye. Uh, you're creating a story. You're creating a dance, so to speak. Whoop, camera went down. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I've got the camera on the top of a box of... of uh, 
one and a quarter inch screws. <laughs> it's not the best mounting for a camera. All right, I'm going to get busy on this uh, armature and I'll be back in a little while. front legs. Now I get to get back legs. Gotta straighten out the wire. Alright, I gotta make an armature for the uh, horns. I've never done this before. Well, I've never done it before, actually. Um, and that, for that reason, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. If I had shown this in a uh, video that you purchase, I wouldn't show you. So this is a little bonus. <laughs> it may or may not work out, but, you know... Every once in a while, you gotta try. I'm using a thinner wire. This is baling wire. You can buy baling wire at any hardware store. At least out west you can. I don't know about east part of the country, but uh, okay. I find the center of the wire by balancing it on my finger. That's where I bend it. This may or may not work out because I'm going to probably have to cut the uh, head off the ho the, the uh, cow, or not the cow, but the, the steer, so I can work on the uh, head separately from the uh, clay, the main clay. And so I don't know if this is going to work, but it gives me something that I can work with. And I can do it on <coughs> so anyway so we got uh, I don't know if you can see it got the horns on the uh, head down <laughs> let's get some of this stuff out of the way might be able to see it it's hard to see with the dark background but you can see I've got the horns on the uh, the skull. I'm gonna turn in the tips only because I don't want to poke myself and get the bleeding because I've got a real pointy tip on it. But at least get, that gives me a start for an armature for the uh, horns. I think 
what I might do is do the head first and what I'll do is I'll cut the uh, wire right there before I start adding clay and then I'll uh, put this in the jig that I've got over there and uh, work on the skull of the the uh, steer and uh, get it developed and with all the muscles and everything then put it back on to the main armature and then build up the clay that's probably the way I'll do it but I just need something for the armature for the uh, horns and I've got that right now so you can see the uh, armature uh, as it is right now <coughs> and uh, it's a it's a good one I think I don't know I'll have to wait and see so here's the uh, the clay of the cowboy and that's how big he's gonna be uh, I've got to work that out all right everybody have a great night and uh, I'll see you next time hopefully hopefully tomorrow but not certain Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.